Hey there, engineers. Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy, where we're looking at a problem from structural design, specifically structural steel beams. The problem reads like this. 26-foot long steel beam has a uniform live load of 3 kips per foot. The beam's self-weight is negligible. Adequate lateral bracing has been provided for the beam. The required plastic section modulus for a W14 structural shape using grade 50 steel is most nearly 90, 110, 127, or 108 inches cube. Okay, so the key to solving this one is remembering some key concepts from your steel design. Now, if you look on page 157 of your FE reference handbook, going to find the following reference material that's going to remind us of a couple of beam equations from LRFD, or strength design, that tells us that if we've got a doubly symmetric compact I-shaped member, which is what we're dealing with here, we're dealing with a W14 structural shape, the following formula applies, uh, including a resistance factor for bending or a fee factor uh, with yield uh, following this formula that the the nominal moment equals the yield strength times the sec the plastic section modulus about the x-axis so this is the equation we're going to use to solve this okay so let's solve for the the ultimate moment that uh, is being induced into this beam or m sub u remember uh, the underlying concept for lrfd or, or strength design is that your your ultimate strength in this case we're talking about ultimate moment uh, must be less than or equal to the resistance factor the fee factor times your nominal strength in this case your nominal moment strength so uh, first thing we need to do is solve for m sub u, or the ultimate moment. And if you'll remember, that's going to equal 1.6 times the live load moment plus 1.2 times the dead load moment. And again, all that's going to be set to less than or equal to phi times the nominal moment. Well, from the problem, the only thing that we've been given is the live load, the distributed live load, and we've been told that the self-beam weight is negligible. So we're, we're not going to be dealing with any dead load. It's all live load. So we can quickly solve for m sub u. It's going to equal 1.6 and if you'll remember a moment for a a distributed load across a simply supported beam is the distributed load times the length of the beam squared all divided by 8. So if we write that out here we've got uh, 3 kips per foot times the beam length squared which is 26 feet all divided by 8. And we're going to punch that in our calculators to come up with 405.6 foot kips. Okay, so now uh, back to the, the problem. It's asking for the required plastic section modulus, uh, or Z sub X. So we need to define the ultimate strength here in terms of the plastic section modulus. To do that, let's use this relationship right here. We're going to say that um, m sub u, we're going to just set that equal to the nominal strength, which is uh, m sub n times the uh, strength factor, or the resistance factor. And we've been told in this formula here that m sub n equals the plastic moment which equals the yield strength times the the plastic section modulus so if we say manipulating this we could say that m sub n equals the 
ultimate moment divided by our resistance or our phi factor. And that that, we could relate that now uh, to M sub P, which is what we're after. And we could say that that equals F sub Y, or the yield strength of the steel, times our plastic section modulus. So let's use that relationship now to figure out um, what the required plastic section modulus is going to be. So we know the mo ultimate moment, we know our resistance factor, we know F sub Y, and we're searching for Z sub X. Um, let's manipulate this uh, expression that we've defined here and see if we can't figure out. If I, if I were to equate F sub Y Z X to M sub U over phi, and I were to solve for uh, Z sub X, I would come up with Z sub X is going to equal the ultimate moment strength over resistance factor phi times F sub y. So let's go ahead and plug those numbers in. We've determined that this is 405.6 and I won't carry all the units here. We know that our bending factor is, or our phi factor is 0.9, our resistance factor, excuse me. And we've been given our, our yield strength on our steel from the problem definition. And since we're dealing with kips here, I'm just going to keep this in terms of uh, kips. So that's 50,000, uh, it's actually KSI are the units there. Punch that into our calculators and we come up with 108 inches cubed. Now we've, we've solved for Z sub X or the plastic section modulus. What do we do from here? Well, um, if you look on, again, this is in your FE reference handbook. Now if we go to page uh, 159, you're going to find the following reference material. It's a table that lists some plastic modulus values for some typical structural shapes. Now we've just determined that our acquired plastic section modulus is 108, which incidentally is, uh, we have the answer now, it's answer D. Um, but if we were to go on a little bit further and, and try to select the actual structural shape that would work uh, for this beam. We would go down the chart. Here's our Z values. Down here at the bottom are all of our W14 sections. And we would discover that our 108 inches cubed doesn't quite work for a W14 by 61, but at 115, it would work here for a W14 by 68. So if we were to select a beam for this uh, solution, that's that's the section that we would use as a, a W14 by, by 68. So anyway, hopefully that helps you out, and we'll see you on the next one.